Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to control sensor and actuator in factory I.O. from Arduino using Modbus TCP connection. In factory I.O. software, open automated warehouse scene. Then set the driver as TCP IP client. Connect to Arduino Mega using Ethernet connection and configure the Arduino as TCP IP server. To display status of sensors in factory I.O., I use LCD display. And, I use some buttons to control the actuators in factory I.O. This is the wiring. And hardware needed. I use several buttons to control the actuator, an Arduino Mega as the controller, and an LCD to display the status of each sensor. The sensor's status displayed on the LCD display will be updated in real time based on the changes occurring in factory I.O. I will demonstrate how to control the automated warehouse in factory I.O. using buttons, starting from the emitter, storage process, retrieving process, and up to the exit conveyor. These buttons are used to control several actuators, such as the emitter for material release, the conveyor from entry to exit, stacker movements including fork left, fork right, lift movement, and also movement towards the target position. This is the Arduino code. I use the Arduino Modbus library for Modbus connection. We can install the library through the library manager. Just search for Arduino Modbus and click install.
Set the MAC address, IP address, and port. I use port 502 as the TCP server port. This is the GPIO pin used as the input for the buttons. Set up the input pin, I use ground as common in button, so I set them as input pull up. This code for getting sensors status, I set the sensors coil address from coil 0 until 7. This code for controlling the actuator from input button. Set it turn on when button pressed, and turn off when button released. Factory I.O. Configuration Beforehand, in the Arduino IDE, open the serial monitor to view the Arduino status and initiate the TCP server. Next, in the Factory I.O. software, open the driver page. Select Modbus TCP IP client from the driver options. These are the addresses for the sensors and actuators. I use coils for both sensors and actuators, and holding registers for the target position. And this is the driver configuration, don't forget to set the IP address of TCP server Arduino, and the server port. Click connect to initiate the connection to the Arduino TCP server. The Arduino serial monitor will display sensor data, and the status of each actuator change. Go back to factory IO, and select run mode to start the simulation. In the driver page, you can see the status changes that occur for both sensors and actuators when I am pressing a button on the Arduino. Back to run mode, we will start to control the automated warehouse actuators using buttons from Arduino. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.